On this video, I'm going to show you how to take this regular license plate and customize it and do it all in three simple steps. So let's jump into it. Number one, we're going to start with a simple selection like this. Now I've created this just using the polygon tool and create a simple outline to cover up everything that I want to obliterate. Following that, I just use the brush tool in order to obliterate all the existing text. And that's done just using a heavily feathered brush and I concentrate on getting the corners correct so it can all be mixed to obliterate that original text. Next, under filters, I add noise. And there is no rule to how much noise you add. This is really done just on an as needed or according to the image that you're actually looking at. Adding that noise helps make this plate look much more realistic. But for now, we're going to leave that turned off because next we're going to go ahead and add the word McLaren. Now I've done this using the text tool and I am using a license plate font. I'll leave a link down below in the description to the font that I use, but typically I found there's several different fonts that vary slightly, so select the one that works best for you. On the text layer, according to how much text is being added, I will use a little talked about tool in the text tool where I place my cursor and use the alt and backspace to tighten up some of the uh, text so that it fits better on my plate. So with our new text here, I typically get it centered and lined up with our existing text that's already on the plate. And that could be a little bit of manipulation here. Then into the transform, I use the skew and move this to match the existing text on the plate. And that can be a little finicky sometimes, but basically I move it so that it works and emulates the original text and the slant of all that. So taking that text when I place it and bring back the um, white plate, I just verify it and make sure it all looks pretty good. So that is basically step number two. Now at this point, you want to verify that all the text is lined up right because the next step is going to mean that you will not be able to change this text. So taking my original text layer, I just duplicate that layer and place it on top, turn that layer off, take my original layer, select that text, change that text to white text. So now I have the third layer that is going to give me the embossed effect. So if we go ahead and turn on our colored layer, take the embossed effect and now just using my keyboard I go ahead and manipulate the placement of that text so that it has that realistic embossed look. I always double check that against the original plate just to verify that it looks realistic. On that layer I just place it so that I get the realistic embossed effect and I always compare that to the original plate. So at this point, we've, we've created a layer to obliterate the original text. On our next layer, we've created the customized text or fake license plate text that we want to add. We've selected the color of that and then we've just simply duplicated it to and create that layer in white so that we can create the embossing effect on the lettering. But you're still not done. Selecting my colored layer, I go ahead and I go to blur and I go to Gaussian blur and I may start this one at a, a 0.5 or a 0.75. We want just enough so that we're not providing crisp letters and we want to emulate the actual plate that was there. So obviously our plate isn't real crisp. There's a little bit of blur to that. And we repeat that same effect on our second layer by adding the same Gaussian blur of 0.5 pixels. You've been able to customize any license plate in three simple steps. Hey, one quick question. If I've shown you something in this video 
that helps you improve your car photography, would it be a bad idea to go down below and hit that like button? If you really want to make my day, go ahead and subscribe and follow me as I travel local car shows and photograph cars, process those pictures into studio quality photographs and posters that I'm proud to share. I'd like to show you all my tips, tricks, and hacks and how I edit photographs and get these results that I'm proud to share. And right now, you should watch this video because YouTube says this is the video that you want to see next. Hey, I'm Peter. Thank you so much for your time. Can't wait to see you on the next video. Take care. Talk real soon.